In more recent times, what do you think has been the link with seafood and human evolution? Well, my view is, is that um, and I think there's now very robust evidence to support it, that with the evidence from the land-based animals, which shows that uh, as land-based animals evolve bigger and bigger bodies, their brain slices shrank in relation to the body size. Uh, you have a squirrel which has about 2.3% brain in its body brain. Uh, you get up to a big rhinoceros and it's 0.01%. You know, I mean, it's just vanishingly small. Um, it, it does very well. It, it, it grows, it produces one ton of body weight in four years. I mean, it's quite phenomenal velocity. But you can put the brain in the palm of your hand. Uh, and there's just, on the land system, there was a universal collapse of brain size. And, and this was re the reason for this was simply because of the paucity of DHA to build the brains. So we've published data on this, demonstrating this very clearly. Uh, the contrast, of course, is the marine environment where you've got the dolphin with 1.8 kilograms of brain. You know, it's got a bigger brain than we have. And if you take the dolphin and compare it with a land-based animal like a zebra, which is about the same body weight, the dolphin's got 1.8 kilograms of brain. The zebra's got 350 grams of brain. I mean, this tells you something. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out that, hey, guys, the dolphin's getting something that helps it make big brains. And that the land-based food chain just simply would not have sustained uh, the evolution of, of Homo sapiens. So Homo sapiens had to evolve at the estuaries, the, the coastlines, and actually be uh, swimming and diving and catching fish uh, collecting mussels and oysters and crabs from the rocky pools, all that sort of stuff. That had to be the, the ecosystem in which humans evolved. So to sum up that, very much eat the whole fish rather than simply take fish oil supplements? Well, I mean, if you've sort of got some serious problems, fish oil supplements are quite a good way of handling it. But the, the, the point about people who take fish oil supplements is they keep on eating a load of rubbish. Uh, and that rubbish interferes with the use of the fish oil supplements. So it, it, it's not such a good idea unless you back it with eating seafood and changing the lifestyle. I mean, the, one's got to face the reality that if, if I worked in Africa, in East Africa, and there was not a single case of cardiovascular disease, not a single heart, heart, heart attack, not a single case of colon cancer, breast cancer or prostate cancer. Um, and the, the Japanese have far less heart disease, breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer than any other industrialized nation. And, and, and really what you're looking at is, is a sort of a, um, a, 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 a sort of global change in food that's happened in the West which has turned its back on natural foods and is relying on intensively uh, produced foods which are stuffed full of calories but have reduced the amount of micronutrients in that the food system supplies. And by turning our back also on the marine food chain, we've lost this particularly important set of nutrients that are vital for human health. And unless we get back to that, we're going to be in big trouble. The major studies that have established the health benefits of seafood, have they been with seafood or have they been with, say, omega-3 oil? Well, the, I mean, the, the sort of clinical trials that people like the Medical Research Councils of this world, things like that, say that we want to have a single substance and demonstrate the efficacy of it. And the, the biggest trial that's been done on, on um, uh, heart disease, for argument's sake, the Gysi trial in Italy, uh, produced a very remarkable reduction in sudden death in, with, within the space of a year, but they used fish oils to demonstrate this, or to test it rather. Uh, but the epidemiology, uh, the reasons why people are doing this, is all based on fish and seafood. And there's good evidence from Pizzioli in Italy to show that if you compare people who eat seafood with people, this is in controlled studies, uh, who eat the same amount of EPA and DHA from fish oil, uh, and you look at the uh, internal status of the blood and cell membranes and things like that of these people, the people who eat the fish have a far better omega-3 status than the people who've taken the omega-3 oils. And th there's a perfectly good rational explanation for it. We know the answer for it this, because when you eat fish, you eat it eat these lipids or fats, if you like, 
in the form in which cells use them. As I said, the fish oil is just a triglyceride, a, um, adipose fat, and, and it's not by any it, it gets dumped in adipose fat, and a lot of it gets burnt, and so it's by no means as good.